welcome back to another video so today i am showing you how i do quick easy roses um, i'm doing it on a nice pinky colored base and then we're going to do some red roses with some gold leaves um so i'm just using oh my gosh i can't remember what color it is i think it's vintage rose i'm also pretty sure i showed you at the beginning i just missed it because i wasn't looking um so i did two coats of vintage rose and then a coat of mother of pearl over the top just because this is an absolutely beautiful shimmery color well it's not really a colour but you know sort of effect it's really really nice so I've popped that on and then got rid of the tacky layer because it's much easier to work without a tacky layer because none of your gel is going to move all over the place when you are painting so I'm just popping this red um gel paint on now so i just wanted to use red basically because it's really obvious for you to see on camera you can obviously do this with any colored gel paint or any gel polish background i actually did um i'm doing the voiceover for this like after actually doing it as usual because i leave everything till ages after but i did a set with flowers on top um for instagram i didn't actually film it um just basically i did a chrome video for youtube and i had lots of the chromes left over so i did the chrome as the background um but not typical chrome like rubbing it on top coat i just basically mixed it with give me strength and put it on like painted background and then did roses on top in white and it looked really effective i really really loved it um so i'm just i'm filling this whole nail with roses um for this nail um just so you can see really clearly how i do them so i start off with a line and then i go back in and make the middle of that line a little bit raised so the ends are thinner and then the middle bit itself is thicker basically and then that gives the illusion of rose petals um obviously there is lots of different ways to do roses lots of different effects you can achieve you can do it with blooming gel or blossom gel i have done that on my channel already i think if not there is a mini video of it on my instagram feed um so yeah i'm just doing this along this whole nail and then adding a little bit of gold just to bring it into the other nails and the other nails are not going to be full ones they're going to be um like just a couple of roses here and there just to bring the set together but these are beautiful not just for valentine's day um these are good all year round you can do them in any different colors blue looks amazing obviously i'm going to say that because i love blue but yeah any different color roses they look beautiful i think they'd be really nice um on a nice nude background and then have some neon roses i think that'd look really effective basically if i do a background and i don't know what to do on top i will add leaves or roses or both and that always looks really nice <laughs> so if in doubt add glitter if in doubt after you've added glitter add roses or leaves and you'll be fine <laughs> So like I said, I'm adding a little bit of gold into this one just to tie it in with the other one. Um, I loved it just red and I wish I'd left it like that, but I wanted it to match the other two nails. So I did add a few, just a few lines of gold as well.
So this next nail, we're just doing, I think it was three roses down the left hand side um, and then added some um, gold leaves to this one like petals just sticking out and they're not petals they're leaves but you know what i mean hopefully if you don't then i'm going to do it in a minute anyway so you'll see so i'm doing my roses in the exact same way and just making sure that they're focused on the left side of the nail and not going past like halfway over the nail else it'd just be too big and bulky and that's not what i was looking for So here I'm just adding some leaves with the gold gel paint. I was originally going to mix a gold chrome with Give Me Strength and do that um, for this instead of this gel paint. And to be honest, I really don't like this gel paint. I think the gold colour of this is just, it sounds really silly, but I think it's too gold. I sort of wished I'd used the champagne one now or just done my original plan of chrome with clear gel mixed together because that looked way more effective. Um, but anyway... I already did this now and it was too late to go back it wasn't i just couldn't be bothered <laughs> and then the third nail we're just doing them through the middle so i'm starting off with the very middle doing one rose and then like the bottom left to it and then the top right and like that it's just so it's a diagonal line from bottom left to top right and then i added a couple of leaves onto this one as well and that's it for this one um really super simple easy roses basically just thought i'd show you how i do like them the easy way obviously you can do more in-depth roses with much more detail and shading and stuff like that but i think this looks really effective and as you can see it is super easy and really quick as well so it's really perfect for salon nails when you are on a time limit um before your next client comes this is a wonderful design to do and obviously you could leave it so the background is matte and have gloss uh, roses and leaves on top with the gel paints or you can top coat it all like I did and have it all completely glossy. I had it glossy just because my background colour obviously had a slight shimmer in it. And I think shimmer always looks best when it's gloss because then you can see it much clearer. So that's what I went with. But you can do whatever you like, do whatever colour roses you like, whatever colour background you like and just go crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end my voiceover here and you can just watch me finish off and then top coat at the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As you know, I always really appreciate it. If you don't already subscribe, then please do blah 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 i don't want to bore you to death um but yeah thank you so so much it really does mean a lot to me and i'll see you back here tomorrow at 10 a.m um i won't see you because i'm the one recording and i don't see anybody you see me <laughs> and it probably won't be 10 a.m because not many people will watch it the second it goes up <laughs> but yeah thanks so much for watching bye